Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, today's video is going to be all about blooming and all about how to bloom on letters. Now I said I was gonna show you guys how to bloom on my son's name, Lucas. However, I received a commission from a client to do the letters HMA for her company, which is called Harmony Music Academy. So I'm doing that and it's three letters instead of five. So it'll be not so long of a video, which will be great. So I'm going to be working on these letters today. But before I get to all that, there's a few things I want to mention. Um, if you saw my last video, which was the fiery infernal volcano painting, I'm so happy with how that turned out. It is drying perfectly. I cannot show it to you because it's not dry yet. I'm recording this video pretty much the day after I finished that video. So you'll have to wait until the next video to see the dried results. Um, but when I tell you it is stunning, it is stunning. All right, so really quickly, seat sale for my trip to North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina with Tammy Anderson. That is for our Fluid Art Creative Escape Workshop. If you are interested in attending Charlotte, North Carolina, and coming to see Tammy Anderson and I to do a workshop in person. There is a seat sale happening. That is $50 off your ticket. So if you'd like more information on that, you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. That is happening February 18th and 19th. Now, you guys all want to know, actually I should go and get it, who the winner is of the blob, which I'm not gonna call it a blob. I keep saying blob and then I say, I'm not gonna call it a blob and I keep calling it a blob. I'm gonna call it the puddle painting. So um, this was the painting that was going to be given away as a prize, um, thanks to uh, my awesome viewer and client, D. She purchased this piece and wanted me to um, gift it to a fellow viewer slash subscriber. All right. So if uh, this is a 12 by 12 inch and the winner of this piece is going to be mentioned at some point within this video. So I didn't want to mention it at the beginning of the video because I'm sure a few of, of the people who wanted to win this will probably see the beginning and then not watch the rest of the video. So if you want to know who has won this painting, you must watch the video and wait to see when I announce the winner. Hopefully I remember. <laughs> that would suck if I go through the whole video and then don't announce it. But somewhere within this video, I will announce who the winner is. Um, it took me forever because there was over 700 comments, but um, I did pick a winner. Everything went randomly into a computer and the computer generator picked a random winner. All right. Um, Next thing I want to tell you guys, Loli Veffy and I have um, come up with a new um, collaboration kit for the month of January. So I would like to do an unboxing and show you guys what this kit is all about. It is called the 123 kit. The sale starts tomorrow. Um, and so I'm going to show you what's inside. However, since you're watching this, We'll call it a pre-sale. So if you happen to go to the website, you can buy it today for that sale price. All right, let me tell you what is involved. First off, you are going to get a jumbo silicone mat, all right? So you will get a jumbo, I love how she just folds these up, jumbo silicone mat, all right? Then you will get three silicone stir sticks. These are great easy to clean off. You don't have to use popsicle sticks and throw them in the garbage and they go into a landfill. So um, three silicone stir sticks. Then you will get a Loli Veffy scraper and then you will get two packs of the maxi bottles. And these ones I believe are the uh, 250 mil, I think. I'm just trying to look at my other bottles on the shelf behind me. So yeah, you will get two of these. So 10 bottles. And then as a little thank you, you get these super cute little stir sticks. All right. So you get 10 bottles, 
silicone mat, scraper, three sticks, and the little plastic, which come in great if you use any TLP pigments. They are awesome. All right. So that is the kit. It's called the one, two, three kit. Okay. Regular price for all of this stuff is $77. It is going to be on sale for 35% off, so the whole kit will be $50. But wait, there's more! Um, so even though it's on sale for $50, if you use code CANELA10, you can save an extra 10% off. So that is a fantastic deal. It is a limited quantity, okay? Limited supply of this kit. So if you are watching this, you might want to pause. Don't forget to come back though. You might want to pause the video, go and head over to the Loli Vefi website. Okay, all the information will be in the description below with the link and everything, but go head over to the Loli Vefi website, order your kit because they will probably sell out. So there you have it. That is the kit. That is the sale. And I think that's all I wanted to mention. I'm announcing the winner at some point in this video. Loli Vefi kit, North Carolina seat sale. That is it. Let's get started. All right, I am doing the bloom technique on these wooden letters, okay? For all the information regarding the bloom, how to mix your pigments, how to mix paints, what products you need, and all of that stuff is in a full, full video tutorial, video number 504. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who just want to click the link and go directly to that video tutorial. I'm not going to mention any of that in this video because it's mentioned in video 504. All right. So I'm using my spinner. It's this really awesome spinner. I have it covered in plastic because you know me, I like to be clean. I got it off Amazon. You can find this listed in my Amazon shop. Link in the description below. All right, I've got this Fluid Arco silicone mat to put on top. All right, so I've got that going there. The letters are from Michaels, okay? I have gone ahead and taped them all. Here in Canada, the letters are $7.50 plus tax, obviously. So I get them from Michaels. I haven't checked to see if you can find them on Amazon. You might be able to, but I get them from Michaels. And if you're in the U.S., um, they're much cheaper, obviously, in the U.S. So I have my H. I'm going to start with that. And my client has said she wants pink, blues, and purples. All right. So I've got my base is going to be... Oh, I need my cell activator. I almost forgot my cell activator. All right. Got my cell activator here. So my base is color to go. I get this at Sherwin-Williams, and it is just a white called extra white or bright white I can't remember I don't think they do anything to it um because it's already white but anywho color to go Sherwin Williams my cell activator is Payne's Gray by Amsterdam okay and it's mixed with Australian Floetrol again all this information in video 504 all right so I'm gonna put my gloves on and as I'm going, I'm going to tell you guys the colors I'm using. And I'm using all TLP colors only, okay? Um, only TLP. I'm not using any Amsterdam or anything like that. Um, if you saw my daughter's letters that I did for her, I actually just used all TLP because, quite frankly, I really love the colors and I love the shimmer that they give. So I just like using straight TLP stuff. Um, if you want to purchase TLP, TLP products, you can go to the Fluid Art Co. website. Again, listed in the description below. All right. You can get your Australian Floetrol there, your Joe Sonia there, your TLP Piggies there. You can get a bunch of stuff from the TLP website. If you'd like to learn more about the Bloom Technique, you could also take the Shelly Art course. You don't know who Shelly is? She is the one who created this technique. She is based in Australia and she has a course that you can take online with multiple, and I mean multiple videos um, that teach you everything and anything more than what my quick tutorial on YouTube uh, shows and explains. But if you are interested in taking the full, full course, you can find that information, that's right, in the description below. So 
You can find all that info in the description. And there's a discount code as well. If you want to take the course, there is a discount. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need before I get started. I don't think so. I've got my little ladle here um, for pouring my base onto my letters here. And I got them from Amazon. There's four in a pack that you get. And they're actually stainless steel, which is great. And again, listed in my Amazon shop, which is in the description below. Everything is in the description below. So many things are listed in the description below. This paper came out from my lid. There we go, just put it back. All right, now I need, I feel it's been a while since I've done bloom stuff, believe it or not. Now, as I mentioned, I did tape the H. Now, you could tape just the back and have the design pour over the sides and the edges. You could do that. Um, I actually don't like it like that. I actually like having the white crisp edge um, when I'm doing the design. And for me personally, it's easier to do the design and not have to worry about, oh, are the edges covered? And then when you resin it, you got to make sure the edges are covered really well with resin and stuff like that, right? So I just prefer to do it this way. It's more of a pain to tape it this way, but at the end of the day, once you're done with it, I'll show you an example. I'll show you one of my daughter's letters that are completed. I still need to hang them in her room, but you see how you got the nice crisp white edge? The back is completely clean, right? So look how pretty that is. Right, that's why I just like, I better put this somewhere where I won't splatter paint all over it. So yeah, that's why I like covering the edges. So make sure your tape is adhered nicely to your edges and let's get started. So I'm gonna take my ladle here and I'm going to put white all over. my letter, my first letter. Kind of glad I'm doing this and not Lucas's name because I don't really want to deal with five letters right now. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to just, oh, there's a goober in there. Okay, I'm going to just spread this along. And as I do that, don't forget, not only am I going to North Carolina in February, but in April, I will be in Seattle, Washington for the Fluid Art Experience uh, event. So I'm very excited about that and looking forward to that as well. All right, so that is down. And now I'm going to do my colors. So I've got, she said I can do whatever I want, as long as there's pink, purple, and blue, and she gave me free reign, which I love. I love when my clients say, I trust you, do what you think is best. So I've got Sapphire by TLP. I've got Enchantment. Actually, I'll show them to you. Why am I not showing them to you? So this is Sapphire. So beautiful. That's Sapphire. Then I have Enchantment, nice light purple. And then I have Mermaid by TLP. Obviously everything is TLP, this little picky. That is Mermaid. And then topping it off, one of my new favorites is a Violet Rain. Now these need a very, very good mixing if they have been sitting in your cups for a while. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of put uh, some, I'll start down here at the bottom and you can change the order of how you do this. You don't have to start with blue. You can change it up. So I'm going to do, um, these, this bottom first. I might speed you guys up as I'm doing this kind of stuff. Otherwise I have a feeling this video is going to be like an hour long and we don't need it to be that long. So at some point, maybe when I'm doing the other letters, I will speed it up a bit. But for the H, let's just keep it real time, okay? So almost done here, putting on the mermaid and then beautiful violet rain. 
on top like so I hope everyone had a good New Year's and 2023 is off to a interesting start that's for sure all right uh i'm going to put my cell activator on this one okay and i'm going to blow it out All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and let the cells pop up on their own and then I'm gonna do this one in the meantime. All right, and then if you want, you can use a straw to just blow down on the really dark parts and see if anything else pops up. Otherwise, I don't like using straws for anything, but we'll see what happens. All right, and then if nothing pops up here, I'll turn it around, maybe you can see it better. What I do is I take just a little skewer here and then I can add a little bit of the design just by squiggling it that way I don't have just a full blue dark black blob here in the center I am going to spin this out too don't forget all right so let's continue so now I'm going to do this one and I'm going to reverse the order so I'm going to start with the violet rain down here. You can do, and then when I do the middle, I'm going to really reverse the order. Just change everything up because, you know, you don't want it to look all the same. You want it to look cool and different. Let's see here. So then we've got enchantment. Now, if you can't blow with your mouth, there is a little device that you can buy. It's called the World's Smallest Blower. Um, I don't particularly like to use it because I can use my mouth, but you can definitely use that. You can get it off Amazon, I'm sure. Um, there's other stores you can get it at. I don't know if you're in the US where you get it, but definitely you can get it off Amazon. It's called the World's Smallest Blower. I don't know what happened there, but anywho. All right, so now let's add our cell activator and blow it out. Okay, let that sit for a minute. Play around with this a little bit. Oops, Kleenex on that. Okay. Okay, and see by blowing that, you can see there are some cells popping up there. So I'm going to let that sit for a bit. Now I'm going to work over here and let's completely change up the order. I think I want to put the light colors on the top. No, let's start at the bottom. Let's start with Mermaid. Mermaid. 
Okay, I am gonna speed you guys up for the other letters. I'll tell you what the colors are, of course, at first, and then I'll speed you guys up because it's literally the same thing. All right, I think I wanna put the light purple on the top. Oh, this looks so pretty. And it doesn't matter if you're sloppy like what I did there. It's not the end of the world because you're going to put paint on there and blow it and spin it and do all kinds of stuff to it. So it's not a problem. All right. Let's add some cell activator over here. This is why I love having it on a spinner because you can turn it around and not have to worry about moving your head or your body around. You just do this and spin it. Okay, oh, that's so pretty. That's so perfect. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit here in the center. I'm not gonna use all four colors. I'm just gonna do a little one, a little baby bloom here in the center. Just to kind of close in that gap there. All right, like so. Okay, so now that I've pretty much covered it all, you see how I have these lines here because they haven't mixed. What I do is I take my skewer and I simply just do a little quick squiggle design, okay? Just to get the colors together. All right, like so. Because don't forget, I'm still gonna spin this out, right? This has a much bigger gap, but again, I'm going to spin this and then over here. And you notice every time I clean my stick off before I dip it back in, you don't want to mess that up. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to move these out of the way and uh, let's have some fun and spin this out. Start slow. Woo All right. Much better, nice and stretched out. So now what you can do, I don't think I wanna spin it much anymore. If you overspin, that's a bad thing too. I'm not liking this here. So I think I may or might, I will, just add a little mini bloom here. I'm not liking this white blob here. So I don't like that. So let's fix that. And then I'll add some purple to it. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit. A little bit of cell activator here little bit. Okay, give it a minute. While I'm waiting for that to kind of come about, what you can do is you can scrape off the paint from your mat. And that way when you're spinning, you're not going to get a bunch of paint splattering all over you. And this is another reason why I tape the edges 
because now I don't have to worry about, oh, the sides aren't covered and that kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> All right, let's give it one final spin. I think I'll spin it the other way. And that's it. It's so pretty. All right, let me show you guys what it looks like up close. I just use a knife to kind of pick it up off the spinner. All right. Look at that. Nice shimmer. See, I don't have to see all those sides. I'd have to worry about all those sides and make sure they're all covered. Right now, I don't care because they're taped off, right? Look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm going to go put this without dripping on my carpet on the other side. I will show you guys a close-up of all this after. All right. So... That takes care of the H. I'm going to scrape my mat off and get it ready for the next letter, which is going to be M. The letter M. All right. I feel like you guys should be closer. There we go. All right. So let's start off by getting the M covered. All right, so I've got the M covered and let's start with some pinks and purples on this one. So I'm using, what's this, Afterglow. So Afterglow. All right, do those. Once I finish and I tell you the four colors, I will speed you guys up. This is called, ooh, there's a goober in there. I must've dropped it off my glove. Oops. Okay, this one. Oh, I didn't show you. I guess I should show you. Afterglow. This one is Nightfall. Okay, then I'm going to use Sangria. I really, 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 this is one of my favorite colors. If you're going to order TLPs for the first time, this is one of the colors you should definitely get. Sangria. And then... I'm going to do this bright, nice pink of Fairy Floss. All right, so those are the four colors I'm using. So I'm gonna do this and speed you guys up a little bit. All right, so I've blown those two. This one's perfect, I'm not touching anything. This one needs a little bit of help. And I'm going to just a little bit, do a little squiggle in there just to kind of blend in the dark with the colors. Now, you could use a white cell activator, titanium white by Amsterdam. But quite frankly, um, I actually really, Payne's Gray is my favorite. It's actually even better than black for my personal preference. Um, I just really like it. I don't like the way white cell activator looks, even though I am using a white base. I just really prefer a dark cell activator. Um, so yeah, but you could use white. You could use any color, really. Any Amsterdam color could be used as a cell activator. I do have a lot of cell activator colors already mixed up in my Loli Buffy bottles. Um, but I just always gravitate and go back to the... Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. All right, so you can see, obviously, I'm reversing the order on this one. And then when I do this in here, I'll just totally go nuts and just do random order. All right, so I'm going to let that one do its thing. And if I don't like it, I'll just redo it. This one's perfect. I kind of like the way that looks. I'm just using the straw to kind of extend some of the cells. Just a little bit. Okay, let's work on the middle. Let's change up the order.
All right, I'm gonna do a little guy here. I might even just do two colors. Just do the afterglow and nightfall. Okay. Okay, so let's spin this out. Move these out of the way because you don't want splatter falling into it. Okay, this, all right. All right, let's uh, spin it out. Oh, <laughs> I hate this part. Spin it out the other way and then that's it. Don't overspin it. You're gonna really distort your cells, okay? So don't do it. All right, so spun that way. Now I'm gonna spin this way. Oh my gosh, it's just splurging everywhere. Okay, so I'm not liking the center here and I, and I just, if I add more in here, I'm worried I'm going to mess the sides up, which are really pretty, right? That's my problem. I want this to be perfect. So, oh, but this is so perfect down here. I just don't like this nonsense here in the middle. Oh gosh. If I have to scrape it and start all over, I have to scrape and start all over. It is what it is. Look what I... A popsicle stick got stuck to my finger. All right, so now I've got this side fixed, this side fixed, and I'm working on this side. I actually like this side the way it is, so we're gonna leave that. And I'm so glad I did that in the center because now I really like it. And that's it, I'm not spinning it anymore. Oh, okay, that is so much better than what I did before. I'm so glad I fixed that because it was not looking good. All right. Oh, that's so much better. <gasps> Look at that shine in there. All right. Let me see if you can see that. All right. I'm gonna go move this over. All right, one letter to go. So I've done blue and purple, pink and purple. So now I'm going to do blue and pink. Okay, last color combo on the letter A. Okay, so the colors I'm using for blue and pink, we've got Lakeside. Then I'm using, what is this, Twilight? Yeah, Twilight. Twilight, and then another pretty blue waterfall. All right, so let me get going. I'll speed you guys up a little bit. I'm going to tell you guys who the winner is of the blob painting. So the winner 
of the blob painting is, now their name is not their real name on, you know, what they comment on. So I have to use that name first. Um, I'm trying to think while I do this. So bear, <laughs> bear with me. Yes, I know I'm leaving you guys in like wicked suspense. Uh, okay, so the winner that has been randomly chosen is called Pinky My Hair. Okay, Pinky My Hair, who is also, and luckily she put her name down there, is Joni. So Joni, congratulations, you have won the blob, or no, the puddle painting. You have won the puddle painting. Pinky my hair. So please email me at canalasaraco at gmail.com. Let's do this. Okay, and I'm gonna spin the other way. That was a hard spin. And now I'm happy with it. Okay. Wow, this one's got like crazy colors. This is awesome. Oh my goodness, the shimmer is insane. I know you're seeing this upside down, but look at that. Ooh, okay, so I didn't totally destroy it. Look at the top, look at the top of the A now. It's like perfect. I love it. All right, so let me put this over to the side. All right, so now that I've made a colossal mess, I'm going to um, clean everything up and uh, I'm going to show you guys a close up with the other lights on and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the results and this time I've turned off my bright, you know, big studio lights off and have just my regular lighting because that's how you see this best. That is how you will see the shimmer best in these when you have studio lights on you cannot see the true color and the shimmer coming out so that's why i have to turn them off but as you can see when these dry and get a top coat of crystal resin it is going to be amazing here's the pink and purple gorgeous Get your TLP pigments from Fluid Art Co. And all the products you need. Again, don't forget, check out video 504 for a full tutorial on how to mix your products in order to do the bloom technique. And then here's the A. Oh, I'm so glad I redid that tip. Look at that. Gorgeous. I really hope my client loves this as much as I do. So there you are, HMA, Harmony Music Academy. There you have it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. If anyone would like to commission their own letters for their child or grandchild, for themselves, for their art room or whatever, or try it yourself. But if you'd like to commission a piece um, of your own letters, Again, email me, canalasaraco at gmail.com. Congratulations to the winner of the puddle painting. Uh, and again, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. All right. Um, discount, $50 sale. 
for the North Carolina class. Come see me and Tammy Anderson in Charlotte, North Carolina, February 18th and 19th. And you can see here, I'm all cleaned up. My mat is all cleaned up. My, my spinner, take the plastic off. Look at that, brand spanking new. All you need are some Lysol wipes. There you have it, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer all your questions. Um, and then I'll show you guys the finished dried results with resin in an upcoming video. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.